Hi, I've just bought a 2017 Ford Transit Custom that I'm planning on turning into a mini sort of camper van type thing that will suit my hobbies which are biking and stuff like that mainly biking. I'm going to rip it all apart, insulate it, soundproof it, sound deaden, soundproof, don't know. And hopefully it's going to be a little machine that I can do loads of different hobbies in and on the odd weekend be able to sleep in the back as well. The steps I'm going to be going through are, first of all, I'm going to gut it, correct term, I think. So that will include taking the bulkhead out because it's a crew cab, it's got seats in the back at the moment. So I'm going to take the bulkhead out, take the seats out, put them on Facebook Marketplace, get them gone rip the floor out, rip the sideboards out, the plywood panels, whatever you call them. And then I've got some insulation, some sound deadener on the way that I'm then gonna be sticking down. And then I'm gonna carpet it and put the side panels back on, carpet them, and then put this fold down bed in uh, that will hopefully save a bit of space and then just a bit of storage stuff. Okay, the van is now completely stripped down. It's a tin can, complete bare metal everywhere. Pretty dusty now, it's actually quite dirty. I need to get cleaning, ready for the next step, which is the sound deadener and the insulation. So yeah, let's get the hoover out. And I need to sell these little bastards. Facebook Marketplace. If you need some seats, hit me up, please. Okay, that's it. Step one is complete. No panels, nice and clean. Also, I'm gonna keep the old panels that actually came with this. So I'm hopefully just gonna be able to carpet these and then carpet any bodywork that you can see as well. So that saved me a job, the fact that these were already in here. Step two, coming soon. 24 hours later. The van insulation and the sound deadener has now arrived. I got it from the sound deadening shop, which is an online shop, I'm pretty sure. I think it costs about 150 pounds and I got the medium van SE pack, which means Basically, it gives you the deadener and the insulation for like 20 quid less if you get it as a pack. So I'd recommend doing that. And it should be the perfect amount for my van. So we'll see. And tell you what, the sound deadener, which is this, is really bloody heavy. It's literally deadening my legs. <laughs> ah, there we go. They've double boxed me. Silent coat, that's what it's called. Nice. So it's just a load of these basically. Now it's the insulation, which is a lot lighter. So then you'll put this on top of the sound deadener. Let's get a time lapse on the go, get inside the van, get moving. Hop into the office. I've done all of the sound deadening on this side now. So I'm gonna do a little comparison, see what the sound difference is. So I'm gonna crack on with this side now. Uh, and then ready for insulation. Okay, soundproofing is now done. Now it's time for the insulation layer, which just goes on top, another sticky back, so I'm just gonna be cutting out and sticking again. Uh, it's not a tricky job at all. It just takes four ages. Um, I feel sorry for people who have a bigger van than this, but literally same again, but with the insulation layer. Okay, I've gone over all the soundproofing with the insulation, so it should be nice and toasty now. This actually only took about half a day and the soundproofing took about a full day. That's this phase complete, the boring bit. Now onto the fun bit, which should be the carpeting. Don't know whether it's gonna be fun actually. Might be quite tough. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. I've got the stretchy carpet here that I got off Amazon. I believe it cost about 110 pounds for 11 meters, which should cover the whole van, hopefully. Nice, yep, looks exactly like a black carpet. It's not as stretchy as I thought it would be. Just a bit of feedback. Oh yeah, also, if you're doing this, get a lot of sprayy glue, because I think apparently it's about one can per meter of carpet. So yeah, let's get this stuff on now. <laughs> Is 
use my panel, making sure that it's the right way around. So this is the side I want to carpet. This is the side that's going to be against the van. I'm going to cut a little square, a bit bigger than my panel. It's glue time. I'm going to glue this part of the panel and then glue this part of the carpet and stick it down and then work my way across. There you go. That's how sticky it is. It's not going anywhere. The difficulty is because this is a curved panel, taking it round the corner, that's going to sit up. So it's not going to sit flat against the van. So I saw one guy had a technique where he would cut small triangles in the carpet. So I'm going to try that. Okay, so I've cut out all my triangles. I'm just going to work my way around it. All right, it's glue time. There we go. One panel complete. There's the back. I find peace of mind in far places. I get scared when people say shit. Sometimes I daydream into myself to make the noises go. Finally, the carpeting on the inside of the van is complete. It took forever and it wasn't actually as fun as I thought it would be. All the panels are done, all of the metal on the inside is done. Also, I had my windows tinted. I'm going away to Iceland for three weeks to do some work. So I've left my dad and my brother-in-law in charge of cutting out the floor and putting it in basically. So that will look awesome. So I'm gonna show you when I'm back, I'll show you the inside of the van with all the carpeting and the floor inside hopefully. And yeah, it should look really good. See you in three weeks. The Iceman has returned. This is the van's current state. Flooring, well done dad, behind the camera. Absolutely smashed it with my brother-in-law, Andy. We've got carpet everywhere. The only thing really left to do is construct the bed, which is going to go, give you a bit, bit of a better idea. I'm gonna have like a long wheel arch made out of this buffalo board again, which is sort of from here. Well, the length of the bed really, the mattress. The mattress and the plywood that's containing the mattress is gonna fold up to here, so I've got room to put bikes and stuff in. And then it should just fold out like that. And I'll be chilling on it. And then it's just the inverter. Need some power. I'm just on my way to get the bed made. Shout out Adam and Ben for helping out with this because I'm glad that I'm not let loose on the tools. They've basically just got the measurements of the mattress that I've bought. I'm gonna show them sort of what kind of thing I'm going for and they're just gonna whip it up. Absolute legends, Adam and Ben. Thank you for that. Jumped a bit forwards now, I've picked up the van. Massive thanks to Adam and Ben for helping out with this. I now have a bed. I'd say it's the most exciting part of this whole thing. I need to carpet it still, so this is gonna be black eventually. They've done a proper professional job. These are the legs, so yeah, I may as well fold it out, see what it looks like. Nice lock up here, pretty stiff, which is good. And just like that, enough room for a bike here. Mattress is gonna go on here. I'm gonna be chilling like that. Also, we've got an absolutely amazing piece of art here. Look at that. I can fit my whole forearm in there. But massive, massive thanks to Adam and Ben for this because I would have done the most B-Tech version of this. Got the mattress custom cut. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. Oh, perfect. It's comfy, isn't it? You know, cup of tea. Right, just received my curtains. I've ordered them from Van X. They're meant to be fitted for transit custom curtains. They've come with four rails, like this. You need to cut the rails yourself so that they fit the window shape and maybe need to give them a bend or something. Meant to be pretty simple. They're meant to fit quite well, so I'm gonna give it a go now. It came with this bending tool that you use to bend the rails so that it can bend around the window, so I'm gonna give this a go. Let's get bending. Okay, one drill bit later and we have the bottom and the top rails in place. Yeah, now let's see how the curtains fit. Oh, brilliant. Okay, we've got curtains. Hop in and I'll show you, I'll show you how they work. The only main concern was drilling through the side of the van because I f it felt like it got quite close at times. Um, weirdly, this window is a lot bigger 
don't know why. That works, absolutely fine, it's pulled quite tight. And then on the other window, it's a lot baggier, it doesn't look that good, but it still blocks out the light. I mean, you get the idea. And I've been online shopping on a fabric website and I bought myself a lovely floral rainforest themed curtain for the cab. And I've just tried to keep it simple. So I've got some Velcro on the edges and I've got some Velcro up there as well. Literally just Velcro's on and blocks out a decent amount of light. So I'm gonna demonstrate. So what I'll do, I'll shut all the curtains, shut the doors, Let's see how dark it gets in here. All right, it's dark, isn't it? And if I fancy a bit of light, and I don't fancy opening the curtains, I've got this little, little touch light here. And if I don't fancy the homely touch light, I've got some LEDs that I'm now gonna put on rainforest theme. <laughs> Enough curtain talk. I think the van is pretty much finished now. I'm gonna get some really nice shots of it, completely finished with the bikes in here, with the bed made up, and give you a little walk around tour of the van. I'm gonna get my friend Kane in as well. He's gonna clean the whole of the outside because it's not been cleaned probably since I bought it in December. It's been a long process fitting this out, but it's basically finished now. So enjoy the shots I'm gonna get now and I'll give you a little walk around. A shade, think something new. Mm. What a job Kane has done on the van. Look at the wheels. I know you're wondering why on earth do I look so cool? And that's because I've got two bikes in the back of the van. I'll show you first how it's how it looks just as a standard van with a couple of bikes in there and stuff like that. I mean, it's your standard Ford Transit. Everyone puts bikes in the back. Realistically, I've lost this much room with the bed. These are really good little things that I bought online. I've put millions of these in just everywhere, maybe where I won't need them. We cut little holes, little cable sized holes. So if we just pop that out, there's another tie down point there. I bet you've never seen a van this clean. Now we've seen it with the bikes in the back in sport mode. Now we'll go a bit more sophisticated and we'll have a look at what it looks like with the bed down. So yeah, let's convert it. Coming up your tracks. I'll give you a little tour now. It's like a little flat in here. Really comfy bed though. Don't know about you, but I could get used to this. Might move out, hey mum? Yes. I mean, it's nice that it's got the side door because you can pop that open and get a nice little breeze. Look out into the field, look at some sheep. Here's my little plug sockets that are running off an inverter plugged into the leisure battery. Little USB plug here for phone and that. Yeah. Oh. You try. Nice thing is there's a lot of room actually this side so I can easily fit a bike here. I could probably fit a motocross bike if I really wanted to. But yeah, that's the nice thing. The fact it folds up and I can just put all this away and shove a load of other crap in here. It's really good. Thanks a lot to everyone that's helped with this because it's not just been me. I've done certain things, but other people have done a lot to help me. So there'll be a load of links in the description for people that have helped me and for all of the items that I've bought online. I'm going to be going away in this van quite a lot. So I'm going to be doing a lot of videos going away in it. Looking forward to lots of adventures. Subscribe for more. Um, I'll see you in a bit.